out here in our position overlooking St. Peter's Square. I'm joined now by Father Robert Sirico from the Axton Institute in Michigan in the United States. Thanks so much for joining us. What do you make of this crowd? Is this a sign of a spirituality among the young that many people thought wasn't there? I think it is. Certainly this pope, more than any pope in modern history, has challenged young people not to settle for mediocrity. Young people are idealists by nature, and what he did was hold up an ideal, not only in his teaching, but also in his life. And what we've learned from the World Youth Days that have uh, sparked this pontificate or appointed this pontificate is that vocations come out of it, solid Catholic marriages increase uh, on the part of young people in church attendance. So I think this may give birth to a renaissance of Catholicism among young people. I also thought it was striking in the homily that, you know, we've been given the images of the Pope in his dying days, and here you were remembering the vigor and the dynamism yes. of the younger uh, Carol Voitier. Yes, but what, what he taught so beautifully was that every human life mattered. The strong, the robust, the intelligent, the simple, and then finally the weak the vulnerable human life. And, and I think that uh, inspires people as well and comforts people because we know that our lives mean something as well. And what about the service itself? I mean, fantastic that it was able to be held in the open air so that so many tens of thousands of people could feel they were part of that service too. I've been here for a number of these kinds of services, including huge canonizations. This was far more packed than any of them that I've seen. and. It, Certainly on the grand world scale, this was a momentous event with all of these political leaders from all over the world. But also it was a Christian burial. This is the kind of burial that you will give your cleaning lady in your local parish. So eh, not with the great music, not with all of the fanfare, but the same rite, the same basic prayers. And, and, and do you think that this is the send-off he would have wanted? Yes, I think so. I, I heard people chanting in the crowd, uh, Santo Spirit, uh, uh, Santo Subito, but also Magnus, Magnus, John Paul the Great. Uh, this was very much uh, a John Paul II send off. But this isn't just media rage stuff. This isn't just people who are drawn because it's a big event. You think that it goes deeper than that? No, it, you saw the people sleeping here on the streets at night. The great expense and difficulty that many of these people, especially from Poland, came, uh, you know, underwent to be here today. No, I, I don't think this is just a, a, spectacle, a spectacle. I think it was really a, a, a need to be present and to send this man off. Okay. Father Sirico, thanks very much indeed.